Okay, so I have just unsealed this box. Here is a first look because this thing is so heavy. I pulled it into my mom's house and I'm going to go from here. So they do pack these pretty full. I, I feel like it's more than 50 pounds, but we shall see. I don't see any tags right off the bat, which isn't a good sign, but let's see what we got. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you like a good train wreck, you are in the right place. I, I need to find the words. Um, this is a kid's 50 pound bulk box from ThreadUp. Now, if you are not new here, if you are new here, sorry, this is the first video you're seeing. Hope you stick around. But for those of you who have been around, you might know this is my favorite box from ThreadUp. I have three kids. I always find some great stuff for my own kids in these boxes. And historically, as in every single other time I have purchased this box, I have been able to recoup all, if not all, very close to all, and often more than the $127 this box costs just by taking the duds to my local Once Upon a Child locations. Oftentimes it's just one stop. Sometimes I do hit a second store, but if you watched my last one, which was maybe last month, I recouped all of my money and had some designer items. In fact, I will be working on my Real Real video. They accepted two of the items out of my last kids box at the Real Real. So designer items. I mean, I've had boxes filled with nothing but Hannah Anderson pajamas, new with tags. Now I have had some that weren't great, but I still was able to recoup the money. In the bottom, there was like a Patagonia jacket or whatever. So. I have a couple of my own kids items that need to go to Once Upon a Child. So once I start filling a basket, notice it gets a little full. I like to order one of these and just kind of make that my excuse to go across town. Now, all of that to say, this box arrived, today is, what is today? Tuesday. This box arrived Saturday. I was so excited to get it. I have family in town and they wanted to see what was in it, like the moment it arrived. So I said, you know what? I've done these unboxings a couple different ways. I already unboxed them and kind of sort. This is what I'm going to keep. This is what's going to buy, sell, trade, and this is what I'm going to list. And then I present it to you that way. So I decided that's how I was going to do this box. And you guys, when I tell you this is the worst box I have ever received from ThreadUp, this even beats out my uh, activewear box situation I got last week. I mean, I almost didn't want to record this video just because I know it will put me in a bad mood. I'm gonna try for it not to. I wore my Lily because Lily makes me happy and I'm going to try to stay positive, but I wanted to show you guys the reality of buying mystery boxes. It is not always great and I can tell you for a fact, I lost $127 on this order. I will be lucky to recoup $15 and, and you'll see why. So I do hope you decide to stick around and, and see what came in this box, especially if you are thinking about ordering it, you have to know you might get an amazing box like my last one with designer items, but you may also get a box like this. This came from Phoenix, the same place I think is my last one. I'm not sure, but it's a doozy. Even my mom was like, yikes, can they refund you? And no, like I, I, I will write to them for issues like the sanitary issue in the last box or, you know, if it's supposed to be all size large and you know, but this box, it's used kids clothes. It's just what they said it would be. But unfortunately, a lot of it is extremely old and not in a good way. Um, so let's just dig in, shall we? And uh, I do have my my, my bags here. Uh, there might be a few items I can take to Once Upon a Child, but let me start by saying this. My goal after I film this is to see if I can put together some bundles for Facebook Marketplace of like play, play, preschool. Like I can't remember. I was so frustrated. I wasn't really looking at the sizes. So I'm hoping I have some, I'm, I'm going to try to make some money back. That's what I'm going to tell you. So make sure you stick around because I will go to Once Upon a Child with the couple items maybe I can take. I will see if I can list anything on Marketplace and give it like a week. And then I will plug that in at the end of this video instead of making a whole new one. Usually I have enough to take to Once Upon a Child. I can do a trade and we do a second video. All right, this is probably the best item in the box and it is Jordache from Walmart. These are size 10 girls shorts. Now, typically I would keep this for my daughter as a size up, it's gonna be her next size. But you guys, I have so little that I can take to Once Upon a Child, they're gonna go because I don't need any size ups. 
So actually, we're gonna put that right here. Okay. We've got, this is like some cheapy, but it is, you probably can't tell. It looks as though it was washed with something red. There's also a huge stain on it. So I can't do anything with that. This, I do think, I need to look it over again. I, it is the brand Brook Lindsay. It's a size 3T. This is kind of springy. And if I can make it over, I mean, I got to cut off some strings. If I can make it to Once Upon a Child before Easter, which is this weekend, uh, they might take this, but I'm not sure. So I'm not going to take stuff to them that I know for 100% they're not going to take, but I'll take a couple things like that that are like a maybe. All right, this is Child of Mine, which is uh, just, I think, believe the target line of Carter's, you can probably buy it other places, size 5T. This is just a pair of little girls chambray style shorts. Um, I'm probably going to have to throw these in the wash because when things dry, like they just don't look good and my store is pretty particular. You just want to make things look nice, so that'll go in a wash pile. This is the only item, I'm pretty sure, in the entire box that is new with tags. The brand is Copper Key. Uh, it is new with the tags, like I said, but it's just a size small, which it seems like a 10, 12, which is not typically a size small. So this is gonna go to Once Upon a Child. I'm in Florida, it's already summer. I don't know that they'll take it, but because this is like one of the items, maybe out of this box that I would have listed myself simply because it's new with the tags, but because I don't know the size, it's gonna go. We have got a Cat and Jack size seven, eight, t-shirt extremely pilled that is the gonna be the general theme hopefully my head being cut off doesn't bother you guys uh but there it is covered in stains and there we go the wash wear do you see that that is how most of the items in this box are so i am going to put some of these items in a bag for our school clinic like if people have a spill or an accident or whatever they are appreciative to get that items so that's going to go in a pile for that. Or if I have a ton of that size, I could list it as a play lot. This is Garanimals size 4T. Again, like I'm not gonna do a close up of every item, but if I say it's a mess, once upon a child won't even take it, the, the wash wear, the pilling is so bad, but that's another one that possibly could be bundled with play clothes or it'll go to the clinic. All right, I'm gonna speed it up. Garanimals size 2T, pair of jeans, they look like they might be okay because they're small enough that they probably weren't playing on their knees, but Granimals is Walmart. I will tempt once upon a child. These are Old Navy, size six, seven. I was like, oh great, yes, a pair of, like Old Navy is like a high-end brand for this box, but as you can see, there is a hole there in the knee. So, can't do anything with those. These, the whole tag was just cut out and they are extremely worn some like fleece pants. I was excited to see Hannah Anderson, but you guys look at, I said I wasn't gonna show you. I mean, it's, it's terrible, it's just a mess. So that is just going to be a straight donate. That won't even go to the school because it's pajamas. All right, this is a Wonder Nation size 5T little girl's dress. It does have wash wear, but I'm gonna try it. I'll try that one at the buy sell trade. This is like another item where I, I said, this is something I'd love to get in this box. It's Zara. It's actually really cute style. I need to redo the button so it's twisted. But the pilling and the wash wear. But I will be, I'm desperate to get some money back. I'm actually gonna take this item over to my mom and see if she will run the depiller on it. See if I can get it a little bit better. I will still list it in play condition on the platforms. But this is the first item that I'm saying I'm going to list. So, all right, this is Genuine Kids, super old style, little tank top. They don't uh, sell that at Target anymore. So, yeah, um, I don't know. Like when, when they start looking through your items, you wanna make sure you've got like nice stuff this one, I guess I'll throw it in the washer and lay it flat to dry and just see. This is a super worn 32 degrees heat covered in pills. That'll go to the school. That'll be nice if someone forgets their jacket. This is like a little ducky 
little onesie situation. It is an 18 months. It's super pilled. They don't like to take baby clothes, especially if they're not in brand new condition. So this one is probably gonna be just a straight donate, but again, cause it's spring, maybe. All right, this is the brand Flapjack, which this is a decent brand of kids pajamas. Oh, they do the whole family. They've got the bare cheeks on the back. You know, it's just, I'm grasping at straws here. They probably won't take this, but if they don't, I might be able to list it for like $8 because there could be a family match. This is Carter's 18 months. It's just the bloomers. And I know that by sell trade, this goes with an outfit. They won't take that. Jumping beans, insanely pilled little skirt, like this waistband. It's garbage. And that's too small for elementary school. So trash. I was excited to pull out children's place until I saw all of the, there's like junk all over this, like gum. So again, some things are coming across looking nice, but it's just not. Granimals, size 4T, it's very faded. These have no tag whatsoever. Donate. This is a size three months, little, very, very stained little jacket. These are Oshkosh size six jeans from like 1995 and not in a good way. They're just bad. Uh, this is, the elastic is shot in them anyway. Now, when you get the, the good boxes, you are gonna have some of this in it, but this is Kids R Us, which they haven't been around here for a while. Look at those knees, nothing I can do with that. These are Zara and these are actually pretty cute. A lot of loose strings but I'm gonna clean them up and I am I might list those yeah cat and jack size 5t these are some jeans but or not jeans cargo pants check this out this is gonna be my still screen right here I mean guys like this was the one other item that I was like oh I'll keep these are size 6 these are Molly's next size but they're just Wonder Nation again I need something to take to Once Upon a Child, so these are gonna go and hopefully be one of the two things they're gonna buy for me and give me 30 cents, but yeah. This is Rebel, size 14, 16, it's terrible. Covered in pills. Let me not be so negative, I know, I know, but this is Just One You, a newborn, very, very pilled little onesie. Jumping beans. Some pants, but like my girls wore this kind of pants and they're, they're just not, yeah. We've got jumping beans. Now jumping beans from Kohl's, it will sell, but this is just so worn. There's bleach stains on it. This is Garanimals, but like the old tag Garanimals. Um, it's a cute color, I mean but they probably won't take it because of how worn the tag is. I mean, it's definitely probably vintage. <laughs> this is just, no, there's blue paint all over it. This is like the best condition item in the box. It's just a the brand is chip. I think size three, four, like a soccer style jacket. Um, can't, I, I'm going to recheck everything over again, but we'll see if I can take that. This is a pair of Walmart leggings, super worn. Carter's newborn again, just, this was passed down for seven kids, which it's great. My kids wore hand-me-downs too, but I can't do anything with that. These are some Sesame Street, super old, super faded sweatpants. These are children's place, uh, like the lined pants, but you see the knees. It looks better on there than in here. I can't, I can't do anything with that. And we just scratched the surface, but doesn't get any better. Sonoma jeans, again, look at the knees. 
All these jeans were what made up the weight of this box. This one has no tags whatsoever. Oh, Wrangler, but nope. The school's gonna get a nice donation from me. These were a, just a, a no-name brand pajama top. Just one new, really faded brown pants. This is a pajama I would have kept for my own kid. They don't need any in this size, it's size seven, eight. But again, like these pajamas have been through six kids and the staining, I mean, it's just, it's bad. It's bad. And it just kept getting worse. This is all in motion from Target. Just super pilled and old. Some random little onesie that had a stain on it. I was like, oh, maybe this is something. This is Snazu. This is a girl size five. It, it is a, uh, what are these? The ski bib, snow bib things. My once upon a child won't take this because again, Florida, this is like one item that I will list. I'll throw it in the washer first though because there are stains on it, but these are some Shein style little shorts, size large it says, which I have no idea what that means. Oh, this is a good one. This is the one where my mom was like, really that's what they sent you so it is disney parks yeah which is great y'all look at this look at poor mickey i mean poor mickey look at this oh my goodness like that's a hot mess like this is terrible i mean this kid loved this shirt this was their shirt their lovey their pajamas their this kid wore this shirt every day for three years arizona jeans uh size seven but i think once again, for typical kids' jeans, the knees are a mess. Some little Arizona, little baby jeans. I will try those at Once Upon a Child, but it's just out of season. Circo, which they haven't made Circo at Target since uh, April of 2012 is what they say. And these have paint and holes in them. This is George, which again is Walmart. Size 5T. Now look, Walmart does make some cute stuff sometimes, but this is not what I consider one of them. There is a little stain on the back, but I am going to throw this in the washer with a load, hoping that again, spring, Easter, maybe I'll get 50 cents for it from them. <laughs> again, Circo 5T. These are just bad. But hey, I'm, I am happy that I could spend $127 to donate a whole bunch to my kids' school. Right? All right, Carter's 4T. Sometimes if it's Carter's, like, and it's nice and it's new, I think there was two of these. These have no size at all. They're super weird. They're, like, very, I don't even know. I don't know what these are supposed to be. Like, they, they maybe, like, Shein or something. But, no. I'm like, oh, camo, but this is. These are faded so badly, that, but not in a good way. And there's not a single tag other than an L, like a large, it says large, but like a large for Play-Dohs. I don't know, but I don't think it meant, it is meant to look like that. I don't know. Oh, I lied. There's something else new. Some bibs from the Dollar, uh, Dollar General sold at Ross. I don't believe that the Once Upon a Child, I, one of them takes stuff like this, one doesn't. I mean, I'll throw it in there because I'm not going to do anything with it other than donate it. This is Carter's size six months. This is probably the first piece that's a baby item that doesn't feel like it was worn a hundred times. So I probably will take that. Circo from 2011. Some little very pilled leggings. I mean, this is crazy. I, even with these bulk, the 200 pounds of women's stuff, I mean, I at least can take a bunch of it to the buy, sell, trade, or back to thread up. This was somebody's, I told my mom, this is like church rummage sale leftovers and all from the same person. And thread up got their box, looked in and said, nope, this is the garbage and threw it all in my box. Like some more really worn Walmart pants. This is a little girl's dress. It just says 120. I'm gonna clean up the loose threads and hope that maybe they think this is an Easter dress and someone will want it. <sighs> yeah. Are you still with me? If so, say cheese. 
<laughs> my dog is even like, okay, these are Danskin size seven, eight. I'm like, oh, something finally for my kid. Y'all, you see that? Like, this is some weird skirt thing with holes in it. This is a cute dress because my daughter had it. It's Cherokee size seven, eight, and it's from Target. I mean, she had this dress when she was like, look, but look at it. There is so much paint all in it. This kid done rolled in the paint. I mean, it's bad. Uh, when is this from? 2015 sounds about right is when I would have bought it for my girls, but it's bad. This is another pair of these weird, they're fleece lined. So they're super thick, super long, super tiny, but the size just says large. All right, some really gross stained shorts. A Wonder Nation shirt that somebody like made their own family shirt on. Pajama bottoms, let's speed it up a little, here we go. Fila shorts or a skort. And I'm like, oh, this is cute, but it's missing half the rhinestones. This, someone's grandma made this for them, which I'm not knocking homemade clothes, but like it doesn't lay flat. There's not a single, it was definitely homemade. All right, we got some. What is this? Jimboree from 2018, but again, like, bad. This thing, I'll take it to Once Upon a Child. I mean, it's something that, like, I would list, but not a single bit of it is in English. It's like one of those uh, sleeping, like, Magic Merlin suits is what it reminded me of, but it's huge. I mean, this would fit my eight-year-old I mean, it's got a cute pattern, but um, yeah. So I'm hoping that they'll take that. Otherwise, like I might list it just because it's new, but I don't know. This is like terribly matted and there's like hair and it's, yeah. This is size eight, like that athletic works. I think that's Walmart. Just that'll be a good one to send to the clinic. I mean, a lot of this stuff, I feel like just needs to be thrown away, not even donated. These are Arizona jeans, size six, but every pair of jeans, the knees are just, it's not like distressed in a good way. This is a kid's headquarters, which I know they sell at Dollar General, like a, it's a cute little shirt because it's like a 3D kind of deal. There is some wash wear, but maybe they'll take it. This is a Cherokee, which again is a brand from Target that they stopped making a long time ago from four, April of 2011. Just a button up, but I mean, it's it's an okay shape, so I will cut out the date part, but they're not dumb. They know that Target don't make no Cherokee anymore, so it would just depend on who is going through my clothing that day if they'll take it. This is Bing Kids. Um, I don't know if it came with the heart painted on the butt or not, but yeah. Uh, this is Cat and Jack, another just super pilled, but great for the clinic. Circo, again, 4T sweatpants that are a mess. We've got one piece of a PJ with that's all stretched out. We've got some iron knee really heavy kids pants but they're the size they're 125 is the size they're just not i know once upon a child will not take that like i'm not even going to try to take them bad stuff this is um a polo ralph lauren sweater it's coming across like black and it is black but in person it's like gray it's super faded now i am going i need to buy some black dye because I bleached something of my own uh, that's black and has little spots. So I will keep this. This is a project just because I'm curious if, if a dye will work on something like that. So yay for a project to give myself. This is just a Elsa tea, but it's got, I don't know if you can see, like those water grease stains all over it. Yeah. I don't even, I wouldn't want to give that to the clinic either. So this is art class from Target. This was one, I'm like, oh look, an item I'll list just cause it's cute, it's from 2018, but it's just this little bitty size 12 months. It's really cute. I mean, art class makes cute stuff and it's, it's like a little cropped sweatshirt. 
and it's actually an okay shape. It's like one of the first pieces where I felt the material and was like, oh my Lord, it wasn't worn 87 times. This is Granimals, a little sweatshirt, but there's a lot of fading. And see, so far I don't feel like a lot of these things are the same size to even lot up, but this is a Granimals shirt. Is there anything wrong with it? Hmm, maybe there's another Walmart shirt to take. They, they will take Walmart stuff if it's decent. This is Sean White Extra Small. I mean, I know it's supposed to have bleach stains on it, but it's quite pilled. And it's missing the drawstring cord. So we've got a pair of Zara little um, thermals, but you know, they look better for you. Old Navy size 3T, but these are some little leggings, but there's a big old hole. Like, whoop, straight up hole. I know people have commented on some of my kids' kids boxes and been like, I got a box of garbage. And I'm always like, how is that possible? Like, I always have at least 15 amazing items. I'm sorry for not believing you. This, these are Old Navy and they're from 2014. And the inside is completely pilled. Oh, they gotta go. These are Izod, size 16 slim boys dress pants. This is, this. my once upon a child does not like to take big boys clothes because I think I've said it before, they, might, they could usually fit men's sizes by then and they'd rather shop the men's. This is a little, uh, some kind of tulle dress, but, Oh yeah, there's stains all over the tool. You probably can't see it. And then this little bow has, no. Crew cuts, yay, right? Okay, it is a size 14, but it's quite pilled and there are stains on it. So maybe I'll ask my mom also to sweater shave this one as long as there's no holes. But once one child's not gonna take it because it's like a Christmas sweater. It's crew cuts outlet. Uh, I'm just being, I'm just trying, I'm grasping here. Size 3T Wonder Nation. These are cute, right? And I'm like, okay, they'll definitely take these. However, there's big yellow stains all over the back. So I will stain treat it. I'm gonna do one load of laundry. It's all it gets, one load. And if I can save any of it. <coughs> okay, this is Circo from 2009. A Scort. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They probably won't take that, but the pilling is minimal at least. This is a Dan skin, like a, my girls love these, a little cardigan, but the material is supposed to feel nice and soft, but it feels terrible because of all the wash wear. Some random PJ bottoms. This is a random faded glory tank top, super pilled, t-shirt, Circo, 18 months. I mean, guys, like all of this is just so pilled, so worn. There's nothing, yeah. So at this point, I feel like I'm just a broken record, but there's nothing in this box. Like it's all Walmart and Target, super, super old, Circo. There's not even Gap, there's nothing. I mean, there's about half of this piece, this box left. I'm not even gonna do a cost of goods like per piece because there's not even, yeah. Um, this is probably, I know I said those shorts. This is probably like the most valuable item in the box. It is Janie and Jack, this little jacket, but it's covered in black stains. So I am gonna try to wash this. Uh, it's from 20, 20 but like the whole inside has got staining on it but besides that you guys i'm not going to waste your time and show you all the rest of this i mean it's just garbage it's all straight garbage with pills like this so uh i've got two items that i'm going to list myself this random 12 months and this super pilled zara that's it there is not a single piece to keep for any of my three kids 
There was those two pairs of shorts. Those were the only possibilities, no, nothing else. And I've got maybe, let's just go on a limb and say, I'll come up with 15 to 20 pieces to take to Once Upon a Child knowing, like guys, I'm not exactly, I'll be lucky, lucky to make $15. So just like, I'm not even exaggerating at this point. So stay tuned to this video. I'm gonna cut back in and let you know, you know, after the laundry, I will let you know how many pieces I took into Once Upon a Child, how many they bought of those pieces. I am gonna stick some of my own kids, like it's sad when my own kids, like Old Navy and Gap, a couple items I'm gonna send along. I'll put those on top so they think maybe I have some nicer stuff. Hopefully they'll buy those also, and that will increase how much money I can get out of this box, but my school is going to get a lot of things and I'll show you, I'll, I'll we'll report back. So whew. see you in a minute. All right. So I just spent an hour and a half. So I feel like you have to keep that in mind. I mean, that's an hour and a half. I was not taking photos of actual good items, but I did want to show you, this is the pile of like decent clothing that I'm going to send to my kids school for the school clinic jeans and that sort of thing that are in elementary school age. Here are the four pieces I'm going to list this. I found in the bottom a tea collection dress. So the best thing in there, but super play condition, super faded. I mean, I'm just hoping there's someone out there that loved this print, but these four items, if I'm lucky, I will profit 10 to $15, just, just being real, if they even sell. So these are the lots I sorted by size. 18 months, there might be enough for me to have Michael, he does my local Facebook marketplace, list this for like $5 for daycare clothes. There was only two, two T's and three T, that's not enough to do anything with. Four T's, same thing, it's mostly pants, good for daycare or preschool. So I'll probably list that. And then we've got size five and size six but it's like half boys, half girls, you know, I'm saying we might list each of these lots for $5 porch pickup. This is all the like newborn through 12 months. This is a straight garbage that nobody needs or wants. So there's where we're at. Oh, and I didn't show you, let me not make you super dizzy. I have been sitting here in that hour and a half. I am up to 5, 10, 15, 20, probably about 35 pieces because y'all, I was using my handy dandy sweater shaver, sweater shaving Walmart and Target items. That's how desperate I am to see if they will take any of these items. And then I have got this laundry basket full of items to attempt to stain treat and just see. And some of it is just gonna go in the piles of stuff that I'm going to get rid of. I just don't wanna give someone something with that many stains. So yeah, there we go. That's it. So, so far, including the filming of this video, I'm about two hours and five minutes in. Not a really high number of uh, dollars per hour if you're gonna look at it that way. At least I like kids clothes and I was watching my true crime videos that I like to watch. So, all right, time to go do some stain treating. All right, I am finally headed to Once Upon a Child. I did add a little stack of books that we have outgrown, a little Nike jacket from my son, and two little girls like play dresses, and this pair of random shoes that I originally bought there that my son never wore. So hopefully that will help them take some of this stuff. I didn't end up counting, oh, and this little, I did get these two things donated to me for free from a friend over the weekend. So I've got a couple better condition things than basically anything else they gave me. So I'm hoping to recoup some money back today. And I am going to the one that doesn't take as much because there is a brand new style Encore that opened that's having a 90% off sale today. So we're gonna take it, see how it goes. And I will be back to give you a recap summary and hopefully put this terrible box behind me. All right, well, Once Upon a Child wasn't a total bust. I did look in the bin of the things they did not purchase and they purchased all six of my personal items that I took in, the random pair of shoes, a couple dresses, a little jacket from my son. So they did buy all six of those, plus 20 other items. They didn't buy the books. They said right now they just have a ton of inventory in the store and in their storage. She actually said, you should try to take your items to another location. Same thing they told me last time. So. Will I try to take these items to the other location? Maybe, but I'm not gonna go out of my way because chances of them buying any of them are pretty slim. Cause like I told you, it's, 
I was scraping the bottom of the barrel trying to see if any of these items would be purchased. So once I got home, I did take everything out of the bin because they don't really fold it back nicely. I thought I would just show you what they didn't take. I was surprised they didn't take this weird sleeper thing just because it was new. They did not want the springy dresses because, well, they're not cute. Uh, some of these things that I washed, took the time to wash and laid flat to dry, they didn't want any of that. I mean, shocker. They did take a few of the things that I took the time to depill, but they didn't take the sweater and the jacket. So, I mean, it's not that much stuff left over because I really couldn't take them that much, but I will keep this stuff in the bin in the corner of my office for the next time I need to run up to the other side of town. Uh, for 26 items, they did give me $25.80, which is pretty great. I'm thinking that the items I took them kind of helped increase the cost per piece that I got back. I try to get at least a dollar per item, which I was really close to that. But remember, I spent $127 on this box. So at this moment, I am in the whole $100 and I am putting up exactly three listings at this moment, two of them are already listed. I bundled the two pairs of Zara pants and the one art class sweatshirt. I still have the Zara heart romper and I do have that pink Janie and Jack jacket, but it did have a hole like at the armpit inside the liner. My mom sewed that up, so I will have to note that. So I have four things to sell to recoup $100. It's not gonna happen. I'm definitely taking a loss on this box, but you know, that does happen. While in the store, I did, I had a 15% off coupon since I did a trade. So I paid $4.67 for each pair of these that I got, which isn't a terrible price for mini Melissa's size seven, which is a great size. I don't buy anything smaller than this unless it's at the bins, but they're in really great shape. A magic eraser and some dish soap is gonna clean these right up. They're really cute. Mini Melissa's do not unfortunately sell for the 35 to 45 that they were selling for two years ago, but I can still probably pull around 25 to 30 plus shipping out of these because they are really cute styles. So, I mean, if you take that into account, I'll recoup a little more, but moral of the story, it, if you're not willing to lose $127, don't buy the kids box, but I've had some great ones. So will I buy another one? Probably, but I'm probably going to take a little bit of a break from thread up in general, just because I've kind of been burned on the last several. Now I will still pick up a fun box now and then, but I'm going to try to source more at the bins. This wasn't too much of a negative Nancy video. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Let me know who you are by letting me know what is your favorite pizza topping. And I'll know you made it all the way to the end through all the things. Even if you don't comment though, I appreciate every single view. You guys are amazing. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.